So you ran away because you'd been bullied at school? Yeah, and because my clothes weren't always brand new and I didn't have the latest trainers. I try my best, but there's only so many hours I can work and, you know, it's hard trying to find the money sometimes. You're not alone, trust me. So who else was with you that night on the wasteland? No one. And you didn't speak to or see anybody else? No. Must have been scary. A bit. So you were on your own all that time until Mr Stubbins saw you there and brought you home? Yeah. It's lucky he was there, isn't it? Do you know him well? Not really. But he recognised you? Clint, Mr Stubbins, is a friend of my fiancée and her mum. He knows Joseph, my son. I see. Well, thank you for talking to me, Joseph. I think that'll do for now. But if you don't mind, I'd like to ask your dad a few questions too, OK? How about you? Go upstairs, mate. It won't take long. Thank you. What else do you need to know? Well, I was just wondering, apart from the night he brought your son home, when was the last time you saw Mr Stubbins? I saw him, like, the other day. Hmm. Well, as relieved as he must be to get your son back, I can imagine he's pretty made up as well, what with that reward. I mean, over 30 grand. Even half that would solve a lot of people's problems, don't you? Don't you think? I'm sorry, what is all this about? I'm just asking a few questions, that's all. Yeah, but it's like you're making out that Clint had something to do with Joseph going missing. I'm not accusing anyone of anything. But he knew your son, he's a friend of the family, and there's a big reward hold on offer. Hold we do on. have. Are you actually saying that I had something to do with this as well? Mr. Brown, I'm just. Save measure. your breath. I know exactly what you're doing. You're trying to make out that because we're skin and because my son was bullied for it, that we somehow made all this up just to get our hands on that money. You've got some nerve coming in my house and accusing me of something like that, especially after what we've just been through. I want you to leave now. I'm sorry you feel that way. But I do need to let you know the social worker will be in touch just to assess Joseph and make sure that he's OK. Unless you had any other questions, then... Yeah, I do, actually. Since when did it become a crime to be poor? Jez, what's happened? I'll tell you later. Thank you for your time. I'll see myself out. Well? Just give me a sec, will you, Gemma? 